Speaking of local skate shops, what's, um, I thought it would be a good kind of topic we were talking about, uh, you know, like you can go and buy a board, you can go buy some stuff at a local skate shop. Is that good enough to support a local skate shop? How do you actually go and support a local skate shop to make it stay in business? You know what I'm saying? Go and buy stuff besides, from besides them. Besides buying? Yeah, I mean... Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Like, mm -hmm. of course. what are the ways you can be proactive in supporting a local sh skate shop by just, you know, you can go there and buy stuff all day. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Support them, you know? I mean, you, but can buy there... their, you can buy their shirts that they have at their in their store. You can mm -hmm. buy stickers to slap on your board. Um that's just like the basic basic sh basic shit. right is there right. stuff that you can do you can definitely do shout them out on on, on social media that's true yep. that's know. true help them with events maybe if there's yeah. an event yeah. if mm -hmm. they want to do an event get proactive mm -hmm. with helping them facilitate yep. events because throwing an event even if it's in a little parking lot it's still not easy no. you know mm -hmm. sure you gotta figure all that stuff just out. got a text from daniel castillo he said uh shout out to apartment skate shop in torrance hey, hey. daniel castillo Hell sean yeah. Daniel, my boy, DL. That's right. That's right. But I think there's a lot of ways you could go about. Uh, that's why I thought you know we talk about that. How, how how can we skate? How can we support local skate shops? Yeah, it's an interesting one. Because right? I think like sometimes your local skate shop is your local shop. You may take it for granted, yeah. just like we take for granted things that we're just used to every day. Mm -hmm. You know, like having the beach right here. True. Take I, advantage of that. Yeah, you know, it's skate like we, shop is just like a. a the local spot you go to hang out with your boys, right? Mm -hmm. Or anyone, really. Right. You know what I mean? It's kind of like cheers in a weird way. Mm -hmm. Right. You go in there, you see your friends, yep. you hang out. Um, I don't... It used to be one of those spots that we'd go and watch our, like when the video would first come out, you'd yep. be able to watch it at the skate shop. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that's, back in the day, that's how we used to do things. But now yep. it's obviously changed a little bit in that sense. So you don't really have those moments. Yeah. Because you used to hang out in the skate shop. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Well, here that poses another question. What can skate shops do to drive more business to them, mm -hmm. you know, right. and uh, be more proactive in the community you, and you stuff know like that? A big thing for me when I was a kid is going to like the demos. Mm -hmm. And those don't happen too often anymore. But mm -hmm. dude, when they did happen back then, mm -hmm. that was a big deal. For sure. I remember Becker surfboards where I grew up in, in, uh, down in Orange County, man, they had demos and it was just, I wanted to go to Becker every single weekend after mm -hmm. they did that. And I don't know, I thought that was a really cool thing. I went to some of my first demos, Val Surf demos in the, in the, in Northridge where they had a shop in Northridge and this was in 87 and I'm fucking old, but like that shit was so fun and so eye opening. That would, that's what made me want to skate by mm -hmm. seeing yeah, those yeah. guys early on. And they, it, they did like demos for like three months where they had like Alva come through, they had Pal come through, they had so many different like brands come through that I was like so like overwhelmed and stoked to see all that. Yep. Yeah. That, I think that's kind of what helped me to be like, damn, I, I love this shit. Well, and, this is an interesting mm. thing here too because uh, this guy, uh, RMH. FPV, he, you know, I, and I, I could see where he's coming from. He says, I hate when skate shops try to be art galleries, right? Make them warm, homey, put a couch and TV in there, yeah. sell some Gatorades, candy, stuff like that. I could see that. I yeah. could see that. I didn't, sugar. I didn't, well, you know what I mean? I didn't grow up. Rip City wasn't an art gallery. Hot Rod wasn't right. an art gallery. It was like a legitimate skate spot where we could go chill. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the skate shop's looking for roommates. This is true. But I think there's yeah, room but, for but, everything. I think that, that, you know, I like to see a cool little different looking shape shop that's clean and fucking like, you know, sure. it, gives a, it gives a different, um, a different taste of skateboarding. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't all it. have to be the same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like right, there's right. different elements and different type of taste throughout skateboarding. So I think there's can be an elevated taste and totally. it can be the, the original where we came from taste. Right, <laughs> right, right. I mean? yeah. But I think even Raj, like you saying, like they don't want roommates and stuff, but you know, having a lot of people in a shop is good for business because sure. people oh, totally. see that, oh, there's people hanging out. I'm going to go in there yeah. and see what's up totally. rather than just an empty store. Totally. It's kind of I mean, like a restaurant and you go by and there's nobody in there. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I see. I can see that. You know, I well, guess it's based on the concept. If his concept is like an art type of deal, then it is what it is. And that's the type of vibe they're trying to engage with. But when then, I go to an art gallery, I want someone to hand me a beer or something like that. Like, here's, sure. a, here's a drink. Enjoy yourself. For sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, I would hang out here's at a drink, all, all day when I was a kid. <clears throat> you know, how I would hot, literally be there yeah. all day. Yeah. Dude, Straight hot up. rod. Do you know how the hot rod got people to left to leave there? 
that actually put on a hot rod video of hot of cars <laughs> and it would clear every, all the kids in there would go skate yeah. like they would just be like oh fuck okay let's go that's amazing <laughs> that's pretty good they're good yeah <laughs> but, but man, looking at the product back then when they get like oh the new girl boards came in and i don't um, know that was such a just a hub for skateboarding right yeah, it's right. Sure. it's a beautiful place yeah. But I mean, this retail is a lot different these days. Yeah, but, it's changed. but I think even changed. having like a little like um, not a, not a necessary maybe like an event type thing in your in the parking lot, but you know where you bring in like a local food vendor yeah. or something mm-hmm. and have them well, something that's local local community, local yeah. community yeah. type mm-hmm. shit. You know where it's like, oh well, we, man, they invited me to come over to their skate shop and it was amazing. All yeah. the people over there, or even link up with like your local schools and try to like get the kids involved and get like people to come and do a demo at the school i remember doing that not for nothing with, with christian Asoy and eddie redigy years ago they brought us around to a couple different schools and i was like what are we doing like you know just come on we're gonna go skate for the kids i'm like that's actually kind of tight in mm-hmm. hindsight when i think about it i mean i don't recall ever having something like that at my elementary if Hell i seen no. that i would have been like this yeah. is sick right yeah. right yeah, yeah. right we did that um what was that little I mean, you did that. Yeah, I think you guys were involved too. Oh, it yeah. was through Girl. Um, you guys did it somewhere else. Well, the free the boards you guys set up. Yeah, we set oh, up boards. Set up boards. Yeah. And oh, gave, yeah. Gave like hundrds of boards away yeah. to, to kids schools. At schools. I did it twice. Yeah. Me and Kenny. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and me you. went. Yeah. Um, me and Kelly went. That was. I had, I, I had to give a speech. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. that was. Yeah. That's where I was like, "Whoa, we got to talk in front of all." Yeah, dude. I kept. I did the same shit. I kept was like, "Don't cuss." Don't cuss. <laughs> yeah. Elder's like, what's up, fucking kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh it was it was crazy, but got especially it. when you're on the spot, like oh, you're like, oh okay, like you gotta little, turn it on. Little babies. <laughs> you know what was really cool back then too, uh, or S still does this, but the S games of skate that used to be a big thing for skate shops mm-hmm. all around the world. Because oh, yeah, yeah event, events always help. Events events do help, and we're it, getting back to that now. Yeah, things are coming back around, yeah. but. Um, Especially outdoor events. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Parking lot shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Another good way to support skate shops is through Parade World. True. Parade That's World. True. Right, Very right. True. Definitely. That supports all of them. You know what I think is a, a great way, which I'm starting to learn this, trying to start my own business and, and you know, seeing how to collaborate with other brands and, like, you know, the, the, um, the marketing that it comes from that. It's like it's not just the skate shop marketing it but it's the other brand marketing it and it's not about m- maybe necessarily doing a collab where like oh we're gonna do an s shoe for this shop mm-hmm. but it's more about like on social media doing a giveaway like hey we're gonna give away our t-shirts or like a bundle of what we have at the shop and s is gonna give away a shoe as well mm-hmm. you know what i mean so then it's like you're constantly you know, getting people tag three friends, you know, all that whole thing, mm-hmm. which I think is cool because it's just, you know, it doesn't cost a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. And you right. get people to participate and then they can win something at the end. Right. And then they're paying attention. Like, and especially, I think a lot of skate shops don't, people don't know that skate shops make really cool shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, it's sure. like Valsurf has cool t shirts or whatever shop, you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But when you do a giveaway like that, then they're like, oh, S or America or, you know, whatever is involved in it. Then they're like looking now. They're yeah. like, oh, damn, that shirt's dope. Like, right. mm-hmm. so I don't know. Giveaways are super cool. I think that that's an easy way to get people to look at the shop. Yeah. Right, right. Well, I look at a shop like Lottie's, you know? Yeah. Lottie's out in front, they got the rail, they got a little box, kids are skating out there. Like, it feels more of like a home yeah. to them, you yeah. know, where they could go and kick it. And they don't need to jump on the on the phone and see where everybody's at, maybe. They you want know? you to like, be there. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like very inviting, yeah. you know? It's and I think that's cool. I think that's important, too. It's it interesting is. with that, though, like with the, um, I don't know, you have to, the liabilities and stuff, you know what I mean? I was thinking yeah. about that same shit. I'm like, oh, just make a cool box outside. But then mm. you're like, oh, does that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know if people, the liabilities. You know? Right. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I guess you can think of it like that. Nowadays, it's all everybody's trying to sue everybody. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like when, you over, <laughs> when you overthink, and at the end of the day, we're trying to just do something fun. You know, right. what I'm saying? Right. some things happen. People right. can get hurt. Yes, but there's benches all over the place that you know that are in front of people's stores that you know they can anybody can just jump on their shit and get right. hurt. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. There was a, a a skate shop in Lake Forest where I grew up uh, called Sticks Board Shop. 
and in front of this the uh, the skate shop with those rails that everyone skated back in the day, like in the DBS video, Mikey Taylor doesn't line with the backside over crook. The, goes, oh yes, those rails that go straight out. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was pretty sick. Like there was like an actual skate, skate spot, spot like right. at the spot like Kayla switched back lifted. I don't know. That doesn't happen too often, but no. It's cool. It's good. Location, to have. location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout Retail orchard. Orchard. Oh, yeah. orchard. They just opened oh, yeah. up uh, their brick and mortar again. Oh hell yeah. In um the north end in Boston. Let me tell you something, man. Like you think owning a business is tough? Like try to try owning a retail yeah. brick and mortar brick business. And mortar. Yeah. Skate shop. That shit, bro. That was that's, that's shout out to all the skate shops out mm -hmm. there. Straight it's up. fucking yeah. that's some that that's some business, bro. Yeah, but that hard. experience is very important, I believe, as as being a skateboarder is going to the skate shop and learning about skating and interacting with the skaters and buying your first board, get, learning how it's set up. All that's so yeah. important, mm -hmm. and I hope that all the new generation can experience that as well. Yeah, because sure. that's that shapes a lot of. Yeah, learn about mm. your shop's history. Go in there and ask them, like, what the deal is, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just, like, going in there and just, like, kicking it on the topic of, like, how we help or how we can, like, do anything. Like, fuck it, ask them where they came from. Like, how did it How did it make this? And, you know, all this stuff, you know? Yeah, definitely. I think it's great like to an know. open book to them, for sure. Dude, Let Val Surf was the first fucking skate shop to sell a skateboard. First one. Yeah. Wow. First one. It's crazy, yeah, you know the history the behind skate shops. Like, we're at, you know, that's extreme, but like, you never know where, where people mm -hmm. build these skate shops, and like, totally. it's super cool. And there's skate shops now that are being founded by professional skateboarders right. who are like legends in the sure. industry. Jake Johnson, totally. you know, Jake Johnson. I mean, Brian Herman. Like, there's Nesser. Carrie Getz. Carrie Getz. Dude, Boo Johnson. Nesser. Boo Johnson. Well, yeah, John yeah, Pharmacy. Yeah, yep. John Pharmacy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's awesome. Super. You sick. know. I think it's a tough business, you know. I think, uh, you know, I, I salute them, you know. Sure. I salute every skate shop out there. It's fucking difficult, but yeah, I don't know. It's you a know? tough business, guys. It, it is. is. Oh yeah, Roger. Business. Roger knows. Roger about owned that. a skate yeah. shop. He did. Well, Matt O'Brien owned the skate shop. I just ran it. Oh, how was it? It was fun. Why'd you guys go out of business? Winters in Boston were harsh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and then our landlord wanted to. Um, Kept encouraging us to carry rollerblades and snowboards and all this stuff. I'm like, we just want to be a skate shop. And then they opened up a blades across the street from us. And that kind of was like the uh, dagger in the back. Oh, got oh, you. Damn. Got you. Crazy. I was the only job other than what I do now that I, like, or skating, I worked at a skate shop. I did too. Nice. That was fun. I only had yeah. not 10 What was guys. the name of the shop, Rush? Sorry. Positive. Positive. Yeah. Great in, name. In Boston. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, sorry, what? I worked at something else. Oh, no. Where'd you, where'd you? I was just saying it was. Growing up, like I grew up in a skate shop. Yeah, that was pretty much like not only just being there as a kid, but also then learning how to like work at places and work with money and stuff like that. It was a, these people at Jay's Board Shop back in the day, and then I worked at Laguna Surf and Sport. Shout out Laguna Surf and Sport, uh, the the fort down in Laguna. Uh, I appreciate all those all the people down there, man. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah. know. It's just, I mean, I had some friends that tried their like open skate shops and it didn't, it, it lasted for a little while, but then, you know, obviously times are tough and you know, you still got those long, those, those, those stores like Val Surf that just fucking are going to stay around no matter what. Right. And unfortunately rail slide, there was one called rail slide. And I think that was probably around for like a good three years. It was in Reseda. Um, and there was another one called uh, blue Alliance, which was in Chatsworth, which was a, actually a really, cool situation because uh western korea skated for him ethan fowler myself and a couple other dudes so it was like a we had like a really solid team because yeah. i was skating for them at that time the number one was, thing i feel like that like, puts shops out of business is like them trying to cool guy yes yes yeah. for sure yes and if you're cool to your customers they'll keep coming back right yeah, yeah. that's true that's true. and your location too bro you got to have a, a, a location that's going to thrive absolutely locations like you know i think in both of those situations, they weren't in the in the best locations. Yeah, you know, so yeah, and good customer why, service and customer key. service. Yeah, yeah. you want to feel welcome yeah. when you go into any establishment. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. If it looks like an art gallery or someone's like living room. Yeah, yeah you got to be cool. <laughs> you got to be cool. Well, that, I mean, my first memories of skateboarding is just going into Rip City. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where I got my first complete board. Mm -hmm. You know, and watching them. You know, I mean, Rip City is like legendary skate shop, but it's dark it's dingy 
it's beautiful right you know yeah. and then there there's they are so much to look at in there bro there's shit yeah. on the it's there's not an inch of wall or History roof there. ceiling it's it's filled but then watching them set up my board and picking out the wheels and like having them super like this kid's starting skating yeah it's yeah. fucking awesome it's, awesome. You know? it's a beautiful moment and right my there. mom or dad paying for it and shit yeah, yeah. 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 going back then yeah. it was still yeah. expensive yeah. yeah that was such a cool world to walk into as a kid the sh- there was like skate shoes uh, shout out to Rick Marmalejo he's actually a, the Etnies shoe designer he worked at a skate shop it was the first skate shop I went to it was called Becker and uh, he sold me my first pa- I bought a pair of Costin ones off of him I ended up working with him Dude, the Becker ads in 401 were Dude, the Becker, right? yeah, like, yeah. section in 401. Yeah, dude. Me and yeah. Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. yeah. Issue 25 right yeah, there. Yeah, that shit was fucking <laughs> issue buttery. What's yeah, the, yeah, what's yeah. the, hey, Raj, do you know the um, skate shop? It's, I think it's in, I want to say it's in Torrance. It's, it's down there. It's, it's basically. Apartment? Like, no, 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 no. It's, um. It's basically like a art gallery, like a almost like a skate lab. Um, he has just the board, like boards from all, like he has so many boards. It's like, you don't know, like a talking? museum. It's like a museum. Hmm. Sure. Is really? it Torrance? Yeah. It... I don't leave Venice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I wish I knew this name, but yeah, uh. one of those. It's it was li- it's literally like a skate lab. Right. Like you go in there, and this guy has just like every board from every generation like mm. it's just like such a fucking cool vibe mm-hmm. it's so cool it's dope. yeah i love skate shops man yeah. like i said that was a, like i remember trying to learn to skate but like i think my first memory of skating is going to get my board yeah because then after that it's like memories of like trying to ollie over the little yeah a little peanut on the ground and then and then a, a board peanut. and then you know what i'm saying like little little things you <laughs> know peanut, he's all right he's there, oh, right? boom. And and a listen, peanut? out of the shell we're talking about uh, oh just know, a little okay the, like, right, the, right. The, the, the little peanut mm. if you do it with a shell surf? on it yeah yeah <laughs> is it et surf yeah oh, no 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 it's not et surf nope <laughs> fuck it's in torrance though it's like it's uh, by, right. It used to be right by Alondra Park, which is a skate park as well. It's a golf course, but it's a, a skate park right next to it, Alondra Park. Um, fuck this guy, dude. I mean, uh, fuck this guy. <laughs> not, not what I meant. Wow. <laughs> not what I meant. Uh, Rick and I went there one day, and like the dude gave us a tour. And South Bay Skates. That's what it is. I there think. Is. I'm pretty sure that's what Are it they is. Are they in San Pedro? No, they're not in San Pedro. <laughs> uh oh. It's like 405. 405 and uh, it's uh, it's uh, Alondra. It's right there. It, it was right there, man. Tim, what are you doing? Are you watch, what are you watching back there? Are you laughing? Uh, a Netflix uh, documentary? I'm watching. Uh, never mind. I, I'm not going to say. What? I do have a I do have a little funny story. I used to work at Val Surf, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I worked there like at two different locations, and at the very end of my skate shop career, my, my little like working at a skate shop, I was about to be a you know, skater, yeah. you know, like, and I wasn't really doing my job that great <laughs> because I kind of knew that I was going to be like going I'm into slacking. this part of my I'm slack. And uh, off. I don't know, whatever <laughs> nah, the case may be, slacking. but I didn't think I was at the time, but the manager there fired me. And literally like a week later, I was like on chocolate mm. and got like a, and then Val Surf started paying me to ride, to ride for, for them. them and so like literally a week later i went in and the girl was like what are you like i was like yeah can i get some grip uh yeah I'll get some grip <laughs> <laughs> for free for free like right. you i'm sorry you fired me but you pay me now to not even be here right? <laughs> Let me get some grip yeah. you know uh that actually reminds me and i've said i've told the story on the show before but I think as skateboarders, sometimes, right, especially like growing up when we were going on tours and stuff like that, um, you kind of expect stuff. Yeah. You know, you go into a, a tour, oh, I need some bearings, I need some mm. grip tape, I need this. And Mark Johnson oh, yeah. was the oh, guy buy that would buy everything. He'd yep. buy a bolt. That's how it should yeah. be. And yeah. that's how it should oh, be, I think. Yeah. I think as like pro skaters going on tours and stuff, you shouldn't rely on free shit at one of these skate shops. No, I'll trade no, you, though. I'll trade you. Yeah, trade is I'll fine, trade. right? Trade, <laughs> is trade is good. Come on. Yeah. Trade is good. Yeah. Or sometimes Why? sometimes the team manager will say, hey, take whatever, and then we'll send you product. Yeah. Don't, fall to that. Don't, don't fall for that. Don't fall for that shops. Why is that? 
they never repay you. Okay, for <laughs> perfect. Really? Maybe some do, maybe some don't, right? Dude, I have had a couple of bad experiences in the past. At your yeah. shop in yeah. Boston? They're like, yeah, yeah, we'll get you back. Yeah. yeah. Add it up and we'll fuck you. Right, right. See, yeah. Needless so. to say, we didn't carry their product after that. There, there you, you go. go. Okay. Boom. Say. But I think, it's, I think it's important, too, for as amateur skateboarders, professional skateboarders, don't expect stuff for free for sure. right. from these skate shops. Yeah. Pay five bucks, seven bucks for grip tape, ten bucks, whatever it is. You yeah, know, I mean, like you need to do. you're supporting them. Rep you know, the they, they have no, they don't owe you anything to give you free grip tape unless you skate for them. You know, what I mean, totally. right? But every penny counts at the end of the day. These guys are like, you know, surviving off of every sale. You know, mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. So let's just, you know, yeah, the margins that. on board isn't that great. It's horrible. Yes. It's horrible. For sure. It's it's not even a fifty percent markup, is it? Nope. Or maybe it is. No. Not, not even close. close. That's cr for retail. That's crazy. What are boards yeah. now? Sixty dollars. They're starting to slide up a little they bit. Huh? They yeah, should. There's a few yeah. brands doing eighty now. I mean, really? Not, they should. I personally think that should be what's going on. Really? Yeah. Because, Why? Dude, it costs game, so much to make a board. It costs so much, and like it's hard for these. It's hard companies. for the brands to survive, like because there's so many brands. Yeah, now. and <laughs> I mean, I don't know. And then you, if you're like, if you're a brand and you have a distributor, that distributor is like taking a huge chunk of the profit. First of all, boards can't stay the same price for fucking decades yeah, and decades sure. and decades. Yeah. Like they have to scale up to a certain degree, to it slightly. Has to. It has to. Inflation's yeah. one thing, but just like in general, like. Things go up year by year. So for the skate shop to take that hit fucking year and year after it fucking hurts. Yeah. 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 And that's and why they have to rely on like Nike SB drops and everything. And that and, and that's that's another thing that sucks, but it also helps. And you know, obviously shout out to fucking Nike for <laughs> doing the product they do because it does fucking work for these people. We had um Heath Brinkley was on the show and yeah. he was talking about the prices of skateboards and them going up. And man, that comment section Ooh, went fucking lit. crazy. Well, if I'm like going fucking 80 bucks for a board, then I'm like, you know what? I fucking start my own fucking board company. Well, Fuck it. But that's the thing that you got to, I mean. Good luck. Sure. <laughs> you were probably one of the people commenting <laughs> and on that. that. Hey, but, but good luck to all the people that have done it. There's about a million fucking skateboard companies yeah, but now. Yeah, and their prices are going up. Yeah, a lot of board companies are the, yeah, the prices the are, prices are definitely yeah going i mean up. they deserve it but it's just crazy there is price point boards you know what i mean but still like you can still get a fucking board for fucking 40 bucks you totally. can still find those yeah, boards yeah, yeah but if you want a premium board that you know obviously that people will kind of lie on that and support the brand and support and the, the brand and, and the skater, skater for right. sure there's, yeah. a, there's a, a different things to support here it's a trickle down yeah for sure for sure but i mean just a little price increase on boards that would benefit the skate shop yeah. I, 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 it's also helping out the pros for sure. a lot yeah. as well. They're getting yeah. they're getting a better premium. No doubt. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, hopefully that does scale up to their benefit as well. Not only for the, the skater, but for the company, for both parties. Yeah. For every, yeah, for all of them. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. I, the I saw the margin on it before when I was working the expedition. I was like, damn, it's really. Not a lot of money to be made not. here. I fucking love skateboarding. I'll do it forever. But I was like, damn, that's that's a weird. It used to be when there was ten brands. And it gets tougher, like when you have like thirty dudes on your team and everyone has a pro model, and yeah, yeah. now you're competing against your people that are on your own team. You yeah. can't really do that no more. I mean, to be honest, like the most I think you could have on your team and really be like thriving is like probably ten, and that's still a lot. Dude, primitive has pros. like I know, but that's primitive. Yeah. There's only the exception to the rule. I'm not saying that it can't work. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is like it's not gonna work for everybody. Yeah, right. it depends on how you set it's it up. It's extreme. And, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's working for them though. No. How much is a primitive board right now? Do you guys know? I thought I saw recently it was like 65, 70. That sounds about right. 65? For a for a for a primitive board. Pr oh, primitive. I think it's a premium. That's premium. That's yeah, no, I mean yeah. for sure. For I think sure. Tim, you have a do you, how much is a board? I'm looking. Hold up. Yeah, it's going up. Going right world. Well, because huh? like, yeah, I don't know. It is a weird it, conversation, it, I guess. But it's like these, I'm seeing iced coffee go up every single like, yeah, like all these everything. things, everything. Yeah. everything. And you're like, okay, and this boards one, never went up. You boards never went like, up. Never went up. Like, right. The last two years they went up. Okay, cool. yeah, thanks. Yeah. But right, you know, when you have you don't have a lot of money that. You know, spending forty dollars is still a lot to some. It is, you know, totally. definitely. Uh, but, primitive decks are seventy. Seventy bucks. Okay, seventy dollars, crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised at all. I'm like, yeah. you know, if you you're getting a good board, you're supporting what you love or what you like in the skater. I think it's cool. No, I totally. get it. Yeah, and buy it from the skate shop. 
the skate shop makes it's money. A, it's a the win, company makes money. It's a win the win makes money. Yeah, for everybody. For or sure, you they know. just get to support what they love to do. Skateboards right. are one of the only things that didn't increase with inflation, which yeah. is fucked. But I mean, it hadn't increased even through like, again going through the decades. It's been like fucking fifty bucks. Yeah, I remember yeah, buying a board bucks. in like forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine. Yeah. Yeah. 45. It's fucking eighty seven. Forty nine ninety nine. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> they, te- they technically should be like one hundred and twenty dollars. Right I know, now. right? <laughs> I know. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, look, dude. I I'm down for the for the kid to get a board for that price, obviously. But at the same time, we have to understand Let's that kill things. Up the yeah. Yeah. These board companies, like, I mean. They have to go through some fucking shit to, in order to keep shit working. And, and you have the artists too involved with the graphic. Yeah, you yeah, know, they have a lot of shit. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And then people will make the argument, well, they make money off their soft goods and stuff like that. But even then, you know, it's like you start bringing in distributors into the picture and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. you ain't making. Yeah, distributors. Will you ain't making that up. much money, mm-hmm. dude. You know. Unless you got like a sweet deal, something that's going right. to be beneficial to. Obviously, both parties, but yeah, it definitely gets a little tricky, man. It gets, it gets just skateboarding. You know what's funny? It's like it's, it's end of the day. It's like been mom and pop from the jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's it's no like outside I, entities like really like in the core factor that own this shit. Right. Besides the core factor. Exactly. Yeah. Like, dude, Mexican restaurant across from my house, favorite thing ever. Fucking dollar fifty salsa, homemade, the best forever. All of a sudden, three bucks. I'm like, what the fuck? That. supply and demand i get it and that's <laughs> yeah. what i'm saying is like the mom and pop like, like gotta, we're still gonna get that we're still yeah gonna i'm get still that. gonna yeah. get that yeah. you know what i mean like I, I get it you guys gotta make money everything's going up let's fucking go i'll pay three mm-hmm. bucks for this shit all day long definitely they already got you you're like he'll pay for that fucking pay for that <laughs> shit <laughs> i drink that thing you know what I'm <laughs> it's like, drink salsa it's so bomb. Bring some next time. Satan's uh, Drano. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Satan's Drano, oh, dude. Yeah. This yeah. shit is did bomb. You, did you post that the other day? I did. Yes, I saw yeah. that. And they're getting orders. They're fucking too good for them. Oh, that yeah. fucking shit is bomb. I love it. Hopefully get them on a hot one soon. That'd be sick. Ooh. Dude, they're, they're habanero. They sent me the fucking thing. I don't really use it that much, but sometimes I do. I have a little, little drizzle on the thing, but <laughs> that shit is... That's hot ones for days. Habanero. Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah, it's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit that right button there. right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.